three days before my birthday, the woman I had been spending every weekend with for the last two months dumped me. Before she dumped me, I told her I wanted to take her on a long weekend vacation. And four days earlier, we had dinner with all my close friends so she could meet them. Why am I telling you this? I was not mad at her when she dumped me. This woman had earned so much respect and high value status in my brain that I simply respected her decision. I made this video because women want to be valued and respected. I valued and respected this woman so much. And I wanted to share the two big things that she did that caused this, so hopefully we can learn from her. All right, two big things. Number one, she embodied integrity. She never said this to me, but she knew that it would be out of alignment to pretend to be my person on my birthday. She also knew that I'd want to spend my birthday with people that were going to be around for a long time. So she was smart enough to realize I was not the person and remove the relationship. Number two, she was capable of the strongest form of acceptance. <laughs> Maybe you can't tell from these videos, but what is on my mind comes out of my mouth in real life. I just vomit information. So I do best with someone who can accept, appreciate, and ultimately allow a safe place for me to just share what's on my mind. In going with allowing me to share, even though I occasionally said the wrong thing, she never made me wrong for saying it. She was a person that was not going to rock the boat unless it was necessary. So why did I take the time to tell you this story about this woman? I think a lot of the time when we get dumped, it's really painful and it hurts. And of course, this, this did hurt and sting a little bit. But with reflection of it, all I could do was still maintain this respect and value for this woman because of the two things. She always maintained integrity and throughout our partnership, she always allowed acceptance for whatever I was going to vomit. So those two qualities of being in a place of knowing yourself and being yourself, integrity, and then allowing the other person to be themselves is really powerful. So I hope you can take that into your being and bring that into your partnerships. Um, I think the concepts are simple, but sometimes the execution can be hard. So maybe reflecting on, on what's going on in your partnerships and in your friendships and in all your relationships, this could be a good time to hit the pause button and kind of start to think about how you're behaving and what's really happening. Um, if you did hit pause, welcome back. And I'm glad you did that reflection. And we're going to end here because I think this is simple. This is easy. Let's see what we can do. I love all of you. We'll see you next video. Bye.